Hey there, YouTube! Whiskey Cactus here, welcoming you back to our Tales of Grace's F Let's Play. This is episode number 11, and last time we met Best Girl. <laughs> we absolutely met Best Girl, and she took us down into the ruins, which are really wild. Quite honestly, they're like nothing we've seen before in this game. But we need to get to Grailside, and we need to get through Wallbridge. And we can't go through Wallbridge because it's a military fortress, and, uh... That's bad news bears for us. But, um, we apparently can go under them by going through the, uh, the ruins here. So, best girl, of course, is Pascal, if you didn't know. Pascal is absolutely amazing. We, we all love her. She's, she's just the best. Just absolutely the best. Um, and she's a spellcaster, and she's been really helpful for our team. And she also is, like, a, a ruins expert and stuff. So she's kind of like our, this game's Rita or rain, or what have you. So she's been, she's been interesting. Um, and we've been fighting some, some monsters. Fighting some bitches. Doing all kinds of good work here. We still got Richard and Sophie, they're, they're putting in the work as well. Doing all kinds of good stuff, so. Our team is pretty stacked at the moment, we're, we're doing pretty good. I'm getting all kinds of combos here. Getting all my CC back. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Didn't get hit. Pascal just maxed out her, uh... Royal Crablets. Royal Crablets. Royal Crablets. Royal Crablets. Alright, so... Pascal just maxed out the title. Now, one thing I did look up, because I was curious. So, we can, you know, you can get more SP on those titles, even after. Um, but, this title gives you physical defense plus 4%. Um, if we get that 1200 and max this out, then it will be physical defense plus 8%. Only when it's equipped. Doesn't really seem that worth it. So, I think it's more useful... To check, get her to get her to learn fucking spread. That is a hundred percent more useful. <laughs> oh God, yes. If I know anything about arts and stuff and texts and stuff in uh, Tales games, I know that I want spread for sure. Now, what I don't remember is where we need to go. Oh, we've been here. We have been here. Was this a treasure chest? No, it wasn't. This is a bat. Alright, hold on. Before we get too far down this path, I want to go the other way and just see. That may have just been... Ugh, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember what we did in the last episode, like, right at the end, because I know we were doing something around here, and then I went back to save. I just, I don't remember what it was that we did. We got this treasure chest, we did this thing, this thing's dead now. So whatever it is that we needed to do, we did. All right, so we can comfortably just go ahead and and go forward this way. Okay, that's good to know. That is very good to know. It's got more things just hovering there, man. It's making me uncomfortable. Do Don't get hit again. I can't make any promises, dude. I think I got hit. <laughs> I think I already got hit, but I don't know for sure. Get out of here, you dumbass bat. We got a roper? Oh, we didn't get hit. Good for us. And Asbel just got Ex Nova. So, we need to figure out what we can do with Ex Nova. And I don't remember how this all works. Ex Nova, I think, is is that a, um, I always forget how to do this. How do we switch to a art tree? There we go. So Ex Nova, what is Ex Nova? Is that something like, it's not something I can place anywhere, so I don't know. I can't change any of this stuff. All I can do is just kind of, so we can go straight without any, without any, um, um, any directional buttons, and we can go full, full in. We can go left, and we can get that. 
but that's I think these are just gonna unlock as we as we learn them and I think they're just automatically gonna get placed it's a weird system it's definitely a system that if you're not used to it then you're gonna have to get used to it <laughs> um, Wolfwind Fang that sounds new let's do that one all right but it definitely is worth being a little grindier in this game because you do get the SP and you learn skills that way. Now, why is that better than Legendia? Um, because <laughs> it's less grindy, I guess. Legendia is kind of the same way, but it's way more grindy. And also, Legendia has random encounters, which is just... Then the question comes up, of course. Are you going to play Tales of Legendia on the channel, Whiskey? <laughs> to which I reply, probably, but it's certainly not my priority. That's for damn sure. Uh, what do we have? Iron Scabbard is not, all right. Yeah, steel's better than iron, of course. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, what, what else? Do you have anything that you can equip. No. Okay, how do we get that treasure chest? I want that treasure chest. Alright. Yeah, it's not my priority. Legendia is certainly not my priority. I will probably want to play it on the channel eventually. I'm sure, just because I'm gonna want to play all the games I have on the channel. <laughs> I mean, realistically. That's kind of how it works. But, oh, oh, we got this. We can just, we can just very quickly make a lot of work of these guys because we don't have to worry about AC or CC or whatever. Well, I'm nowhere near your level, as But boom. All right. Um, so. What the actual plan is, I would say, at this point... Uh, we got Grace's F. I don't know how long Grace's F is going to take. I think it's a fairly lengthy game. Um, so I expect it'll take quite a while. Now, I don't know if um, if Tales of Arise will be out by then or not. I would imagine it probably won't be. Um, but we then have a real, actual, like, decision to make. Do we stop what we're doing and do Tales of Arise when it comes out, are we going to play two Tales games at a time, or do I just do other things and then do Tales of Arise? Like, don't pick up another Tales game until Tales of Arise comes out. I don't know. But other Tales games that we have on the list, for sure, after Grace's F would be Abyss, Berseria, um... Legendia. Those are, those are the ones I have that we haven't done on the channel. Not counting Zestiria. I don't know what I want to do with Zestiria. I don't know if I'm ever going to want to play that on the channel or not. I may do it and just put it on easy mode. But the, um, the skill customization, the, the equipment customization skill learning system in that game is brutally awful. And I actually rage quit the game. And <laughs> never finished playing the game because that system infuriated me so much. Um, and maybe it's not as bad as I remember it, but I think it is. Because I know people say online that like, they had to make spreadsheets to keep track of it all. I'm just like, no, no, no. <laughs> just, just, just no. So. We'll see about Zestiria, but um, we do have Tales of Arise, which absolutely will be done on the channel. And then we just kind of have to figure out what what we're gonna do. Not totally sure. We'll figure it out, man. We'll figure it all out. Which way did I come from? There we go. Take two and discard the rest. We'll do that. Well, look at that. 
Look at all that. This better be worth whatever the fuck it is. There we go. Take them all out, man. They're all just kind of hanging around here. We can do some crowd control. Oh, I'm so glad we have Pascal now. She's so good. She's so good. And we got the Ella first. Look at this. We're just wrecking these bitches up. You were great, Pascal. Oh, you finally realized my greatness? Let's celebrate with a high five. Huh? <laughs> Where'd everybody go? All right, well, Sophie maxed out her thing title, so we can go ahead and switch one out for her. We got plenty of stuff. What is this? Let's just, let's top this one off. You'll rue the day I drew my blade. Richard's having a friggin' conversation over there. I don't know who he's talking to. Come on. Get out of here. I gotta get better at parrying. I'm decent at parrying, but I'm not good enough. Cooked a rice ball, though. That's good. Alright, if somebody could cast first aid on me, that'd be awesome. There we go. Ba boom. We're getting so much SP, though. That's why it's worth doing this grinding. Alright, well, what are we doing here? I mean, it's really, it's just all kinds of... Uh, oh, hello, Discovery. Silent Stone. What is this? Is this a Creus husk? I've heard of Creus that could no longer absorb Elif, but I've never actually seen any. I can't even begin to imagine how long these ruins have been here. Oh, I'd say like 500 years. That's a guesstimate, but we're directly beneath a river that flows from Lake Grail to the sea. Which means? Well, I can't imagine someone just walked over and dropped these relics off for no apparent reason. It means they're equally as old. Come on, think about it. No one would be dumb enough to just build those ruins right under a river. Although that would have been interesting to see. So, they're at least 500 years old, but they could be older? Why not? 500 years, 1,000 years, something like that. Yeah, in the wow. ballpark. This place is a lot older than I expected. What's funny is I think, I'm pretty sure the voice of Pascal is the same as the voice of young Asbel. I think it's the same VA. Who, I cannot remember who it is. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and save. Now, um, I'm not sure where this is gonna take me, so I think I wanna kinda backtrack a little bit. So I do want to try to explore as much of this as I can. So let's head back over here. Yeah, so, um, other Tales games. Obviously there's some I'm more excited for than others. No, this can't be the... This can't be the way out. This can't be the way out. This has to be like a bonus place. Um, Tales of the Abyss is one of my all-time favorites. It's probably one of my top ten favorite games of all time, just in general. Um, so I'm very much excited for that, and honestly... <laughs> I was actually going to play it after Exilia 2. Or after, um, in that case, uh, Let's Go Eevee. <laughs> which is what I did between Vesperia and um, Exilia 2. That's, that's Grailside. Okay, so that is going forward. So we definitely do need to backtrack a little bit. Um, I was gonna play The Abyss, Tales of the Abyss. And I decided to do Vesperia because it came out when it came out. And then I didn't want to do uh, Abyss right after Vesperia. Can somebody heal me? Thank you. Didn't want to do Abyss right after Vesperia because the style of those two games is very similar. I wanted to kind of mix it up a little bit. So, it may end up being a while before we get to do this. Which, uh, for me, like, 
I'm, I'm kind of hyped to play Abyss. But maybe we'll we'll change it up a bit. Maybe we'll go with. Uh, I mean, we'll, we'll definitely do Tales of Our Eyes for sure. And that'll be a totally blind let's play because that's that's a brand new game. What? There's another device here too. It looks like the one at the entrance. Yeah, that's because it's the same thing. So can we use it to reach the other side? Nope. This one just poofs you right into the middle of Wall Bridge, which is pretty silly unless you want to tour a fortress. That's okay. We're in a hurry. Aw, I bet it's a fun tour. Hmm. <laughs> I want to tour the fortress. Well, that's a dead end. Alright, so what do we got over this way? More treasure chests and things and stuff and stuff and things and things and stuff. Oh. <laughs> That's the entrance. That's where we came in. Alright, well, hey. Very well. I think we've almost explored all of the paths, I think. Starting to, starting to lose track of it. But yeah, I would say... If we do a rise after Grace's F... Because it may not make sense to do a game between Grace's F and Arise. Like another Tales game, because it'll be too long. And then I won't be able to do um, Arise right when it comes out. Um, then I think after Arise, it wouldn't really make sense to do Berseria, because same deal. Like, it's too similar to... It'll be too similar to Arise. They're both... the. Berseria is the most recent after Arise. Um, so then it may make more sense at that point to do Abyss. Alright, I think we've gone every way we can at this point. So we've been that way because we came that way. This way fizzled out. So I think all we can do now Unless, let me just real quick, unless this was also a branch that we took. So it may make sense to do Abyss after Arise. And then maybe Berseria, and then maybe Legendia. That's going to take years. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to be on YouTube that long. This is the direction we didn't go yet. <laughs> this, this would be one treasure chest right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who didn't see that coming? Who the fuck didn't see that coming? Who the actual fuck didn't see that coming? <laughs> oh my god, alright. Yeah, that's, that's gonna take a long time to get through all those games. Because you, you gotta remember, these are fucking JRPGs. We're talking the shortest Tales series that I had on this channel was Symphonia, and that was 43 episodes. <laughs> Exilia was 52, Exilia 2 was 47. And goddamn, Vesperia was 58. So, cut that number in half. That's how many weeks it took. Symphonia notwithstanding, because I had a different schedule back then. But seriously, these Tales games are long. And so it may be quite some time before we get to... Uh, get to some of the other ones. Alright. So let me just do a save again. <laughs> just because we've been dicking around in here for quite some time now. So this should be our way out to Grailside High Road. We are still trying to get to Grailside and we're trying to get uh, Duke Dallin to help us out. So here we go. See if we can get all of that into this episode. I'm hopeful. Lead the way, Pascal. Looks like we cleared Wallbridge. Now we can continue to Grailside. Oh, 
You're going to Grailside? What a coincidence. You've been a great help, Pascal. Thank you. Wait, hang on. I want to go to Grailside too. You don't have some sneaky reason for following <laughs> us around, do you? She wants to study Sophie. <laughs> Maybe. It's, it's pretty obvious. Are you serious? Because I want to get closer to Sophie. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I want to touch her and study her and, and learn about her and, uh, touch her. Yeah. <laughs> no offense, but I'm not interested in the rest of you. None taken. So can I come, please, <laughs> Absolutely. Richard. You're one of the best party members in the game. Richard, got it. Hey Sophie, who do you like best? Me? Asbel or the other guy? Asbel. Of course. Oh, come on. I want you to like me too. She's a bit eccentric, but I think we can trust her. We sure can. All right, Pascal. You can come with us. She's on the box art. That means she's an important character. Yay! It's like they say, trips are all about meeting people, right? Sure, they say that. Now then, shall we head for Grailside? Of course! Alright, so this is the... This is Wallbridge. So we gotta go this way. Alright, cool. There's a Turtles, which is good, because we probably need... We need a Turtles. It's been a while. Excuse me. Need to charge my mixer. Actually, I really didn't. Anything good to buy? We we could use we could use some of this stuff. We'll get um get ourselves some stamps maybe. Any good stuff? Steel shot staff. Oh, that's what she's got equipped. Okay. Uh, anything good? Means to meet? No, not really. Can we sell anything? Should be able to sell some of this nonsense. Got a stamp. What's our stamps look like? Two? Almost a three? I think once you get to like seven or eight on some of these shops, you can start getting um cartas. Oh, we don't we don't know um we don't know anything about that. What what's the Prince of Windor? I don't know any Prince of Windor. For sure, I don't know any Prince of Windor. Certainly not accompanying us right now. Certainly not. I say. All right, let's go this way. Let's continue onward. Onward. Hello. We got some monies. Looking for things that might be discoveries. Oh, you're an enemy. Oh, you got a big old tree thing around you. Hello. Go. Get on out of here. Get on out of here. There we go. There she goes again. Now how can you not agree that she's the best character? Alright. Well, continuing onward. Anything over here? It looks like that. Nope. They they fake you out with that quite often, actually. Let's do this. Oh jeez. None of that bullshit. None of that bullshit. None of it. I'm poisoned. God damn it. Yeah, healing would be good. Thank you. Victory is ours. All right. So I think at some point around here we can probably find another Carta. But we have to probably grind a little bit for that to make it appear. We'll keep an eye out. Oh. What up? What up, dude? Richard, what's wrong? Nothing. I'm fine. You don't look fine. I've been walking for a while. Do you want to rest? I don't want to slow you down. Hey, come on, if you feel all woombly, you shouldn't push it. We don't mind taking a little break, right, Sophie? Ha! Ah. What up? Sophie?
Oh, oh, Stay back. oh dear. Richard, I I'm sorry. You startled me. Aw, don't worry, Sophie. He's just kind of shy. He probably just has a thing for you or whatever. Cause he got all worked up when you touched him. I bet that's totally it. Wait, oh my gosh. That means he's my rival. Sophie, you can't like him too. <laughs> you just said you liked Asbel the best. You can't keep changing your mind like this. What's gotten into you two? Asbel, Sophie, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I think I'm just very tired. We should rest for the night. Richard, are we friends? Yeah, the tree says so. Yes, Sophie, of course we are. Friends? Then why? Let's keep going. Well, I mean, he did... He was, like, kind of sort of attempted assassination. So, like... So, it's what's little jumpy. Railside like? It's on the shores of Lake Grail, ruled by a man named Duke Dallin. Can I also ask who this Duke Dallin is? He's a distant relative of the royal family. Yet he maintains the largest standing army in the kingdom. Oh dear. Dallin's father saved my father's life a long time ago. And our families have been close ever since. And you think Duke Dallin will save you? I think he can be a great deal of help, perhaps more so than anyone else. Seems reasonable. More than anyone? Asbel? Even you, no, Asbel. I just mean, it's good to have such a powerful ally at your side. You're useless, Asbel. We got a discovery, potatoes. Dude, those taters look delicious. Sure do. So, hey, have you known Sophie long or what? That was a quick change. <laughs> well, come on, I ain't got all day. Sophie, Richard, and I have known each other for seven years. If this is the same Sophie. The uh -huh. same Sophie? What do you mean? Um... Long story. How should I explain this? Come on! What is it? Hmm... I should be careful what I say to her. Hey, are you keeping secrets or whatever? Uh, sure are. Well... Sure am. Look, back in my hometown, we made a pact of friendship. And Sophie was part of the group. Oh my gosh, friends are awesome! I totally want to make a friendship pact with everyone! Whew. Hmm. <laughs> Dodged a bullet there. You're gonna need to tell her about it eventually. Oh, hello. We got an apple. And some monies. That's good monies. Alright, how far up here can we go? Can we go up? Oh, we can! Oh, that's the end. Okay. Alright, can we go around the other side? Just doing the exploratizing. No, we can't. Okay. So I guess we're just gonna continue onward. Hello, you people. Before we, before we move on, you people. Alright, well that's good to know. What about you? I would like one! I already got some. Okay, hello there, Mr. Tree Thing. I'm gonna fight you. I'll fight all y'alls. Go. Go, look at that. Taking care of these guys real easy. Sophie just maxed out another title. Perfect. So we can get you swapped up again. And we'll do this one. Might as well. Alright. So we should be coming up on Grailside. What's over here? Anything good? Anything interesting? We got a fork in the road. So what's over this way? Oh, there's something up there on the cliff. Let's make sure to go grab that. I think this is the way to Grailside, right? Yeah, so let's go check the other direction first. Peach gel, hello! That is the step up from the apple gel. No lemon gels in this game, they're peach gels. And they're only 50% instead of 60. I don't know how I feel about that. Moist crystal. Hmm. 
What dis? Poison needle. Alrighty. Hello there, Miss Apple Spirit thing. I'm fight you. Take all you guys out. There we go. Sometimes I can't help but envy you, Pascal. Forgive me, Your Majesty. I hadn't realized. No, I didn't mean that I wanted your staff. <laughs> well, Pascal's very good at reading people. All right, so what's over here? Oh, this just picks us back out over here. Okay, cool. It's an interesting little detour. Uh, yeah, we didn't miss anything over this way. Okay, cool. So if we just continue on this way, then we should be good and run right into Grail side. We got some people right over here. Hello there. What's your deal? It's a battle sword. I finally got one. Good for you. Any people traveling right now? Need to have a mercenary. All right, well. Oh, maybe he stole it. More enemies. Man. It's relentless. Relentless enemies. He's casting magic. You stop that. You stop casting that magic. No casting magic. None of that nonsense. Excuse me. I feel like you're all beating up on me, and I don't appreciate it. You thought to stop us. Do not appreciate it. Not in the least. All right. There was something back here, wasn't there? Yeah. Oh, we got Chelsea's Carta. Just collecting all them Cartas, man. I don't know who any of these people are. Does that make me a bad Tales fan? I guess it does, right? But that means we got the Grailside High Road uh, Carta, the one that was that was located there. That's good. And here we are, guys. We are in Grailside. We have made it. The Lakefront Jewel. Here we are. Oh, we got guards with sticks pointed at us. Is in None are allowed inside the city without explicit permission. Excuse me, do you know who this man is? Wait, he's Prince Richard. I apparently you do. Very well. Please forgive me, Your Highness. We shall inform the Duke of your arrival at once. Much appreciated. Chop Richard chop. If Richard is a prince, then what is Asbel? A knight, apparently. I'm... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I am now. I apologize for making you wait. You're all free to pass. Thank you. Is Dallin at his manor? He is, your highness. All right, Asbel. Let's find Duke Dallin and see if he can shed some light on our current situation. Well, there we go. We have our mission. Should we choose to accept it? Not much to explore. We got whatever the... Nope, can't even go in there. Okay. Nice big old town square. Alright, what do we have here? Anything interesting? Anything fun to find? We have an item shop. I don't really know what... You got a burn charm. I don't know if that's really that useful to me at this point. But I can probably sell you some dark bottles. And maybe some other things. Um, I don't know. We gotta buy things at these shops and get the stamps. Definitely have to do that. Don't take me for a fool. Hello there. Want to launch my boat? Well, don't we all just want to launch our boats, man? Isn't that just the most relatable thing you've ever heard? Got canola seeds. Hello. Hi. Excuse me. Okay. Well, fuck, man. <laughs> 
sorry I'm so in the way, Discovery. We got Bells of Glory. I think there's a bell in the top of that tower, but I can't really see it from here. Psst, Asbel, over here. Yeah? Listen, there's something totally hinky about the way Sophie's acting toward Richard. Yeah, there really is. Yeah, I noticed that. I've been thinking about it too, but I can't figure out why. Well, duh. Don't you have a clue? It's because of you and Richard. Huh? Yeah, Sophie's jealous that you guys are all more, more, more hanky panky all the time. <laughs> Wait, what? Speaking of someone who just wants to launch a ship, we got the in rear entrance. That's interesting. Nice little back alley back here. It's pretty cool. Look at that. How cool is that? Got the turtles over here. Not sure what's this way. This is a way out. That's Old Grail High Road. Okay. She needs something. Beef and pork or something. Kids. We got the inn. Let's go into the inn. See if there's anything to pillage while in here. Collecting stamps? We've, I've been trying to. Looking for something for his son. You looking for something for your son? View requests. Oh, right! I forgot this was a thing! That's right! Syrup bottle? We don't have enough. Sure. Cool. <laughs> Good stuff. We can do this one now, too. Look at that. Cool. Can we go any farther? Oh, we have a skit here. Have you been researching this area long? Nope. Oh, <laughs> where were you before? Oh, you know. Ever since I left my hometown, I've just been kicking around the world. So she's homeless. You traveled the world by yourself? Who exactly are you, Pascal? Funny, I totally ask myself that all the time. Wait a minute. <laughs> you don't know who you are? For sure. I mean, do you know who you are? Uh, well... Like, why am I here and stuff? Where'd I come from and where am I? <gasps> Uh-oh. I saw you, Sophie! <laughs> oh, you can't hide! Do I know who I am? That's really the heart of the matter, isn't it? Who am I? Why am I here? Where am I going? Alright, what can I pillage? Yes. Best princess stories! That's the back exit. Back into the back alley. Well, look at that. I like Grail Size. It's a really cool town. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Alright, so. Is there anything over this way? There is! This place is enormous! So much to exploratize! Gimme things. Gimme things and stuff. Things and stuff and stuff and things. Why have rooms if there's nothing in the rooms? Hello there, you're adorable. Hmm. Place selling spell books, you say. I don't know if that's relevant to anything I'm doing at the moment. I don't believe it is. I would like to find some hidden junk in one of these rooms. Otherwise, it's almost like exploring them is pointless. And I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, so much for that. Alright, we do gotta meet up with Duke Dallin before we end off this episode. That's for damn sure. So I would like to actually accomplish a thing. Alright, well we've got... Whoa! We've got... That's the weapon shop. I'm not too too worried about the weapon shop at the moment. So what's over here? We haven't been this way yet. Oh, that's the port.
Oh, look at this. This is all nice and stuff. All naturey and shit. This is the way to the port, huh? Well, here we are. I don't think there's really... Well, there's a treasure chest, so boom. We got pasta. It was worth coming here for pasta. Hey, man. I don't know how you feel about pasta, but goddamn. Oh, the service is suspended. We can't go to the capital. Well, shit, how about that? Meow is a cat. Give it a fish for sure. Salmon. Meow, meow. We made it happy. I hope that was worth it. Can't tell me why, huh? Well, wasn't that convenient for me. All right, so that's it for down here. Let's head on back up. And actually go talk to Duke Down. Let's do the real thing we're supposed to fucking do in this episode. <laughs> we're almost at the end of the episode, but we'll, we'll keep trucking along. This has to be a little bit of a longer episode. I'm not too, not too sad about that because we've uh, kind of been not doing a whole lot. <clears throat> so it would be good to get something accomplished. So here we go. Let's head on... Straight ahead. And here we go. Oh, are you a chicken? No, you're a dog. You're a dog. Why did I think you were a chicken? You're a dog. There's that maid who's really, really fucking rude. Alright, Duke Dallin. You're gonna help me if it's the last thing you do. There's always fisticuffs. Your Highness. Down. It is I. Oh, hey, dude. Ah, Your Highness. It does me well to see you safe. I thought you were still in Verona and was even now preparing my troops for a rescue mission. I'm sorry to have worried you, but I will put your troops to good use in the coming days. I intend to defeat Uncle Cedric and avenge my father's death. I pray you will support me in this, Dallin. All that I call mine is yours to command, my lord. Well, that's super convenient. Now, please rise. Let me introduce you to my friends. This is Asbel. It is by his hand that I was able to escape the capital. And this is Sophie and Pascal. Both have been a great help to me as well. I am Asbel Launt. It's an honor to meet you, sir. Asbel Lont? Of the family Lont? You damn right! Yes, sir. I am the eldest son of the late Lord Aston. I see. Well, you have my eternal thanks for saving his highness. I can do no less, sir. I consider it my duty. These are indeed strange times for Lont. Yeah, they fucking are. <laughs> it seems Strata has seized de facto control of the area. Yeah, and I don't really know how to feel about that. Can you tell us of the current situation, both in Lont and elsewhere? We need to plan our next move. Of course. This way, please. Here we go. Strategy time. Archduke Cedric currently holds power over Verona and the surrounding areas. Mm-hmm. The Stratton military, however, appears to be acting independently. Indeed. They seem to have occupied Lont of their own accord. This has allowed the Creus mines near Launt to come under their control. So it's about resources. That gives them the power to cut off Windor's supply of Creus. It does indeed. If the situation is prolonged, this could become a very serious problem. I also heard something about an alliance between Windor and Strata. Well, that seems kind of odd considering Strata's taking over resources that could cripple Windor. Yes. Archduke Cedric has maintained close ties with Strata mm. for some time now. Seems suspicious. He most likely gave them Lont in exchange for turning a blind eye to his treasury. Or perhaps for their outright cooperation. So where does Hubert play into this? I'm sorry, Asbel. That can't be easy for you to hear. Asbel Lont. The prince and I must now engage in very sensitive discussions. 
I would ask that you please take your leave. Uh, wait! You must allow me to help you take back Barona. I want to help His Highness however I can. I would ask this as well, Dallin. I need Asbel. Very well. If that is your wish. Thank you, Dallin. Let me explain our position. Indeed. There is but one road to the capital, and it leads through Wallbridge. The Archduke, perhaps anticipating an attack, has garrisoned a large number of troops there. Yeah, we know about that already. A direct attack on Wallbridge would be suicide. If we can't go through the front, how's about just pooping right into the middle? Well, we know how to do that. Hey, that's right. There's a second device in the ruins. I see. So we could send someone to infiltrate Wallbridge and open the main gates. Is that possible? If so, it would put us at a distinct advantage. Allow me to infiltrate the fortress, your highness. There we go. I will carry out this mission without fail. Pascal, will you come and help me with the devices? Okay. And Sophie. I will go as well. I fight this battle for my late father. If I am to avenge him, let it be with my own hands. Your Highness. Enough. I'm going. Now let's gather the commanders and plan the rest of our strategy. Yes, sir. All right. Making plans and doing shit. Look at us being proactive. Oh, hey, Sophie. So we strike tomorrow. Things are really moving fast. Asbel, I'm sorry. I don't want to drag you into this. But I want to be involved in this anyway, because we're friends, according to the friendship tree. My uncle has many of the knights on his side, so some of them may be people you know. Interesting dynamic, yes. Don't worry. I knew that the moment I joined up with you. I am your sword, Richard. Use me as you will. Thank you, my friend. I would never say this to anyone else, but... I have no desire to fight a war. That's a very controversial statement to make, dude. I wish there was another choice. The faster we finish this war, the sooner peace will be restored to our land. I'll do whatever I can to make that happen. Thank you. Now come, Asbel. We have a battle to win. And we will! I can't stop looking at Richard. I get nervous when I see him with Asbel. Yeah, what's up with that, Sophie? Asbel and Richard are friends. Richard would never hurt Asbel. So why am I feeling worried? I don't know. You're friends with us, too. Just ask the tree. I think you're worrying over nothing, Sophie. Totally unfounded. Oh, jeez. It's time to move the fuck out. Brave warriors of Windor. Today we march for the capital under the command of His Highness, Prince Richard. Your Highness, my men await your word, sire. Indeed. Men of Windor, today we strike a blow for justice. For justice. I expect great things from you. May the wind guide our blades. May the wind guide our blades. All men, move out. Hoorah! And they all died. It's time for us to infiltrate Wallbridge. Please Very well. Take good care of His Highness, Asbel Lont. Sir, understood. Let's return to the ruins. We'll be able to access the fortress from within. All right, well, we have our new directive. We have our new directive, our new mission. So I think, and we just go back to this happy-go-lucky music. So I think 
guys, at this point it makes sense to go ahead and end off the episode, so I'm going to head on into the inn, and we're going to go ahead and hit that save point. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below, and make sure you are subscribed for more Tales of Graces F. Guys, next time we are infiltrating Wallbridge, we're going to head back into the ruins. We're going to use that other um, teleport pad, which we know exactly where it is. We're going to hop back into Wallbridge, and I have a feeling we're going to fight some enemies in there. So I hope you're excited for that. I know I am. I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.